Hey, it's a big day for one of my clients because in just a little bit, we're gonna head up to Buckhead at uh, our uh, closing attorney's office and we're gonna let him sign the papers on the house that he just bought. And it's nice, can't wait to show you. We'll do that in a little bit. Something that we learned in this process that I wanted to share with you though is this. Once you've made an offer on a house, it's been accepted and you're in binding contract and you're in that 30 to 45 day window before closing, here's something I would suggest you do. About a week before closing, schedule a walkthrough. And here's why you don't want to do it the day of closing. Some people do that. It's a little risky if you ask me, and here's why. You walk through the house five to seven days beforehand, and some of the items that were maybe on the inspection that you guys uh, agreed were going to get addressed or were part of the condition of selling the house hasn't been dealt with yet. And no big deal. The person selling you the house still has a week to do it, but... You don't want to find this out the day of closing and then show up at the attorney's office and be all belligerent about it. I'm not going to sign anything until that's dealt with. Well, you're right. You shouldn't because it should have been dealt with before closing, which is why it's a good idea to schedule that walkthrough about five to seven days out. Now let's go look at this house. It's awesome. Can't wait to show you.